This is RegisteredNurseRN.com, and today we're going to make a video on what is visceral fat. Now, generally speaking, the human body stores fat in two main ways, as visceral fat and subcutaneous fat. Okay, men and women both accumulate these types of fats, but the quantities and distribution can sometimes differ. Men are a little more likely to start accumulating visceral fat first, while women sometimes are a little bit more susceptible to gaining subcutaneous fat. And again, that can vary depending on your genetics. And, you know, women can sometimes have this sort of fat. Men can sometimes store subcutaneous fat. But generally speaking, men tend a little more to start um, gaining that visceral fat first. Okay, so what is subcutaneous fat? Subcutaneous fat is the fat that accumulates right under the skin. So, for example, if you tighten up your abdominal muscles and then pinch some fat off the top of your muscles, that's subcutaneous fat. It can accumulate all over your body, including the face, arms, legs, stomach, hips, and so forth. This is the type of fat that also that gives a fat roll look or the pudgy look, kind of like the Michelin Man or Marshmallow Man. You know, you can sort of pinch it, pull on it, um, and it gives you that soft, pudgy look. So it covers up muscle definition and all that. And it makes you instantly look overweight. You know, if you see someone with a lot of subcutaneous fat they will appear to be overweight and obese and you know sometimes some of the uh, slang terms you'll hear you'll hear something called a muffin top that's where the fat kind of protrudes out over your uh, pants or turkey neck or flabby arms or cellulite all that can often be subcutaneous fat um, and any fat is a danger to your health and subcutaneous fat is certainly to be avoided However, the most research shows that subcutaneous fat is far less dangerous than the next fat, and that's what this video is about, is visceral fat. Now, what is visceral fat? Visceral fat is just like the name implies. It's fat found in your viscerals, which is your organs inside your belly. Now, this fat accumulates around the organs and intestines in the tummy area deep within your body. It's considered a very dangerous and potentially deadly fat. And this is the fat that is more hidden. It's more secret. You can't always immediately notice it. Although if someone has a lot of visceral fat, they'll have that sort of beer belly or pot belly look. But you can have quite a bit of visceral fat and you can you can hide it quite well. Um, it's a lot of people kind of... What's interesting about visceral fat is when a lot of people have visceral fat, they tend to not store a lot of subcutaneous fat. So they can kind of look skinny. They can have skinny arms, their face looks thin and healthy, their legs look in shape, but then they'll have this big pop belly. And so that's sort of interesting how visceral fat can accumulate like that, but it does. And it, it, like I said, it is responsible for that beer belly look, and it can be caused by any weight gain, not just alcohol, although you know, a lot of people assume that if someone has a big pop belly, they probably drink. That's why it gets the term beer belly, but... Um, if you want to kind of have an idea of how much visceral fat you've got, if you can kind of push your stomach really far out, it's probably a good indication that you have visceral fat. Or if your stomach sticks out, even when you're not trying to push it, that could be an indication that you have some visceral fat. Now, uh, it's very sneaky because it's, it's sometimes hard to know that you've got it, and it, you can kind of hide it. You know, sometimes men will kind of suck in that visceral fat a little bit and they can look like they're in decent shape where, when in fact they do have uh, some very dangerous fat inside of their body. And in fact, if you ever notice on those bodybuilding or exercise magazines, you'll see guys in one picture, they have really pale skin and uh, you know no muscle definition, they've got chest hair, they've got no tan, and they're kind of pushing their stomach out, they've got this big beer belly, and then the next picture, they've got this gorgeous tan, They've got, they've shaved their chest hair. You can see all this muscle definition and, you know, they've got their belly sucked in. Well, a lot of times I, I watched an episode on uh, television one time and sometimes people even take those pictures in the same day, believe it or not. Uh, that's not always true, but sometimes they can just, you know, change the lighting, change the camera angles and touch you up a little bit. And they'll take those pictures in the same day. And the reason why sometimes they can do that is because that visceral fat you can pooch it out to make it appear almost like a man's pregnant. Then you can kind of suck it in and he actually looks in a lot better shape. So it can be tricky. Now, what makes it so dangerous? Like, what's the big deal about visceral fat? Well, here's the problem with visceral fat. It's metabolically active fat. 
So more specifically, many studies have found out that this fat actually secretes inflammatory molecules into your body. And these increased inflammatory molecules soon start to wreak havoc on your body and your health, okay? If you carry around excess visceral fat for long, you're risking serious consequences to your health. And scientific studies have found that visceral fat is now being associated with the following condition. Type 2 diabetes, you know, visceral fat is considered to play a crucial role in insulin resistance, which leads to type 2 diabetes, uh, which is very dangerous to your health. Cancer, visceral fat has been found to be associated with certain cancers. Heart disease, the inflammation secreted by visceral fat increases your cholesterol and risks a uh, greater risk of a heart disease or a heart, heart attack. Um, stroke, visceral fat, because it secretes inflammatory chemicals, creates a low-level inflammatory state in the body. Dementia and Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease, again, another thing that they're starting to associate with that is the visceral fat. It can alter your hormone levels. More and more studies are starting to link visceral fat to autoimmune disorders, such as rheumatoid arthritis and depression, anxiety, and more. So those are some very, very serious health uh, issues that you want to avoid and if you carry a large amount of visceral fat then you know you're just setting yourself up at a higher risk for those diseases and potentially others. Now I'm not saying that visceral fat is the only thing that can cause those conditions I just mentioned but it certainly seems to be playing a role and more and more evidence has continued sh to show the dangers of this fat. So and Again, you know, we just want to say that visceral fat, it is dangerous. It's a very sneaky and hidden type of fat, but really you want to try to get rid of it. And we'll create another video on how you can get rid of visceral fat, but just real briefly, we'll mention here that the best way to get rid of visceral fat is through diet and exercise. And if you do a high-calorie um, high calorie burning exercise program, such as an exercise bike or, you know, working out with some cardio program that's going to help you and you also are going to need to look at your calorie intake and your current diet and adjust that so that you can begin to safely lose weight and you always want to talk to a doctor anytime you begin a new diet or exercise program or anything like that but that's just the general overview of visceral fat thank you so much for watching if you want more information go to registerednurseroom.com and we have a lot more information about it so thanks so much for watching have a great day